Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this teleporting effect in Camtasia 2021. All right, so let me pull up the video that I created here. It was just a time travel test, right? A te teleporting test video. And let's play it here, and then I'll show you how I created this. So I'm going to press play. Alright, so that was the video, and as you can see, I started off down there, and then moved over to the left, and then went upside down. And so, let's break this down. So I'm here in Camtasia 2021, and I have it all laid out here on the timeline, and it's made up of the initial background, which was that space footage that you see. This is from Storyblocks. It's the stock footage website that I talk about a lot. So that's essentially the background. Next is some green screen footage of me that I filmed a while ago and I just have it in my library. Now, you don't have to use green screen footage. I just thought it would be funny to show me waving and then doing a teleportation thing. But you can do this effect on an image, a regular video clip, or if you find some green screen footage on a stock footage website. So I just use me as an example. And then we've got our audio, which is this flickering electricity. And I chose that because it signifies kind of like a zap, you know, an electricity zap, and then I'm teleporting. So I've got that, and then I've got a bunch of transitions, which creates the glitch effect. So everything correlates together, and so when you see the video, it all matches up, and it all, it all seems really cool when you watch the video. So those are the elements that you want to have here. And basically what I did was dragged the video footage of the space down to the bottom layer because we're going to be stacking everything on top of it. And you know, this doesn't have to be a video. I just, I liked it to create more of an effect because it's like, it's the, the, the background footage isn't moving a lot, but it moves enough to create those little details. You can, however, use a still image if you want. You don't necessarily need to use video footage like I did. So you can see that the background does like a slight zoom in effect and I got this from the website Storyblocks. Next is the green screen part of me and you can see up here it's actually green, right? I had to remove all this stuff so let me show you what I did. I'll just silence this. I filmed this a while ago because I knew I'd be using these kinds of little funny video clips of me in my videos. And so here's me, right? And let me just chop it off here because we don't need the entire thing. And then I think I start waving. And then... Oh, then I do another movement. So let's just keep it at the waving part. I did a bunch of different movements and then I like chopped them up. We've got here the waving. And you want to make sure that when you film green screen that you're very well lit so that you can remove the green screen properly and try your best not to have as many wrinkles in your green screen. But it did a pretty good job of removing it. So how I went from this to this right here where it's all clean and everything's removed is I took this footage right here and I went to more visual effects and then I went to remove a color. Now I always have it starred to find it in my favorites. Always make sure you're using your favorites to save you time. And so when you go to favorites, there's remove a color. And you can see the guy in the background also has a green screen. You basically just drag it down. And then initially it doesn't really do anything, but you need to head over to the right hand side, click the down arrow, click the dropper, and then click on the green and it's going to remove it but you're going to still have some 
green residue around. Now, you really do want to make sure that you have it well lit as possible as you can. We had a lot of lights and you want to light yourself as evenly as you can. So now, when I have this, you can play around with the Tolerance, Softness, Hue, and Defringe. So the first thing that I do is play around with the Tolerance. Now you don't want to go too crazy because then it ends up, I look like a horror movie, right? <laughs> don't want to go too crazy. And so maybe something like here, let's see the, oh, again I'm looking scary, the Softness, and let's see the Defringe. See, if I go all the way, then I become black and white. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. We want to leave the color in. And if you go too far, and you're like, oh no, what was the actual settings? Just click this uh, reverse arrow, and it's going to revert back to what it originally was. And so when you've got it to about here, I know that when I shrink this, that all these smaller details of the green won't, won't be seen. So if I go small like this, like how I am over here, yeah, I'm actually even smaller. If I go even smaller, you can see that you can't see that if the green that was enlarged. So I knew that that would be happening, so that's why I'm okay with leaving it as that and then making it smaller because it's very tiny detail. You're not going to be able to see it. So there's the miniature version of me. And then, so let's go back to the actual project that we're trying to build here. We've got the background, which is a stock footage of the universe. And then I placed myself here. And then before moving on to placing myself as second and third, I wanted to get the details down first. So first I wanted to make sure that I've got the right transitional effect. And in the new version of Camtasia 2021, they have so many transitions. And one of their latest transitions, I'll head to my favorites because I favorited it, is the glitch effect. For the longest time, I've been wanting to have an effect like this in Camtasia and they finally built one out. And so if you drag it down, and you place it down, you can see that if you move the time head here, it creates this really cool glitch effect. And what I initially did was, it comes on for, I think, one full second? Yeah, one full second. But that was too long, so I actually shortened it just like you see here. And then I put one on either end, just like that, and I shortened it, right? Just like that. And then now that we have the, the glitch effect, I started to place the different miniature versions of me. And you'll see that I did it a certain way. So there's a reason why I didn't just put one right after the other. It's because I want them to, to overlap and go at the same time. So you can see here that this first one and this second one are overlapping at the same time. And if I move this incrementally, you'll see that as this first one is disappearing, the second one at the same time is appearing and that's what I wanted because if I just did it right after then there would I mean it would still look cool but then there would be this uh, gap of delay and I didn't want that I wanted an overlapping effect so that's why this one is specifically placed above this one and matching the same transition time and then so this one becomes the second one and then the third one, since there's space below here on this track two, I just put it below. I could have technically put it above and stacked it up, but I was like, no, it's okay. I can put it below here. And so as the second miniature version of me is disappearing, the third version is appearing at the same time. And so that's why I did it like that. 
Lastly, the sounds, the audio. So I got this flickering electricity sound from artlist.io and they have copyright free music. It's also a subscription based website that provides really amazing music and sound effects and so much more, but that's mainly what I use it for. The links for everything to these sites will be down in the description below. And so I wanted a sound effect that would match the transition. And so this electricity sound matched well for me. I liked that. So I'll just play it again on the test here. So in my opinion, that, that sound matches the effects that are happening. And when you do that, when it matches, then you get a really cool project, a really cool video. And so again, being strategic with the placement, I didn't just take the audio and put it like right here, like way before. I made sure that it start. Oh, I made sure that it starts right when the transition's happening. And then as I move on to the next one, it starts as the second transition is happening. And then you'll see for the third, it starts as the transition is happening. You know, it might look weird on the timeline, right? Like, oh, why did you put that there? Why didn't you put it here? Whoops. Yeah, why didn't you put it here? Because if I put it here, then it would be after the transition and then the sound wouldn't make sense because I would have already appeared. And then the electricity is to signify the, the teleportation that's happening. So that's why it's placed there. And I know it looks misplaced, but it's actually in the correct place. And so that's how I created this teleportation effect. And again, you can do this with anything. You can do this with a picture of a ball or something, green screen of you, green screen of something else that you get from a stock footage site. It's literally endless. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought this tutorial was cool and I'll see you in the next video.